what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here soon be talking about jeepers creepers reborn off the bat shout out to unreal network just because he was the one who pointed out this footage the details of the footage that i have seen but didn't really i guess pay that too much close attention to as you see in the thumbnail we're gonna be talking about the creeper ruining the proposal that will unfold in jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers reborn it looks like the way the creeper will come in contact with lane and capture lane after she's having these visions of course of the monster will be at the horror hound festival where chase is going to propose to lane and that proposal will be interrupted by the creeper swooping down and picking lane up and presumably of course taking lane to her lair which would then prompt chase and the other characters that we've talked about Stu, played by peter brooke some other characters that we know are going to be involved in hopefully the return of trisha jenner by gina phillips to go out there and search for lane and bring her back safely away from the creeper we also know that we'll be touching on the origins of the monster a bit more based off of some images that have been shown from the set that we've discovered ourselves not publicly released officially through any press releases or anything but going back to the whole marriage thing that is going to be a very fun scene i'll just say that should be very unique it won't necessarily catch any of us off guard if you're watching this video it won't catch you off guard but it'll be nice to see if other people are actually in theaters when this come out because i'm sure it'll still be a fathom event when it comes out next year fathom said it's planning to release it next year so i think the plan right now is for it to still be a fathom event hopefully if the theaters that you guys go to that are, or if i go to hopefully you have a decent enough audience that this scene when it happens it catches some people off guard because i could see us not seeing the creeper as as we saw in the footage i'll leave a link to it down in the description for you to go watch it the behind the scenes footage shows the creeper swooping down taking lane while she's getting proposed to and of course we can visibly see the creeper in the appropriate stance for them to swoop down and take lane during that proposal but hopefully the way it's shown on screen is we don't see the creeper we're just focusing on these two main characters and then out of nowhere you know lane is just picked up real swiftly and fastly kind of like i guess uh what is his name from jeepers creepers 2 the one who was the bully on the uh scotty just like how scotty was taken a very abruptly we knew it was coming but still the way scotty was taken was just so just so swift and fast and he sent the other teams just flying back double d ronda and easy they were just sent flying back with how fast he took uh scotty so who knows if that'll be the same fate for chase it doesn't look like that's the case from the behind the scenes footage but who knows what other types of different edits they could have done or what other reshoots of the scene they could have decided to do to keep it in the final cut of the film chase and lane we know are going to be the boyfriend girlfriend dynamic traveling to the horror hound festival chase being the geeky horror boyfriend lane being the supportive girlfriend who's kind of forced to go along for the ride and we know they'll be catching up with their friend sam there who will be played by gabriel fralick and some other individuals who of course will get involved once sam not sam but once lane rather is taken by the creeper to what we can only assume is going to be the creepers lair the whole idea of the creeper ruining a marriage proposal does kind of sound funny but hopefully the way it's portrayed on screen it makes for a very terrifying sequence to watch unfold because hopefully what we see is a decent interesting compelling relationship between chase and lane to the point where when it happens we are on chase's side when it relates to getting lane back because like i said before about the other lead actress that we got in jeepers creepers 3 the character of addison her relationship her story and everything about her as it relates to just her story from her abuse from her stepfather being uncomfortable to listen to given what we know about victor salva and then just the the lack of chemistry that she had with chester rushing who portrays bucky or buddy whatever his name was that we know was on the team from jeepers creepers 2 their whole chemistry and dynamic was non-existent they were very cringe to watch i did not find them to be believable as an on-screen couple addison gab gab the lady who uh, or the girl rather who lady who portrayed addison i think her name is like gabrielle hall i just was not a fan of what she was bringing to the table i was not convinced about anything that she was doing i felt that she was more uncomfortable on set than anything and hopefully that uncomfortable feeling if I, I just feel like she was uncomfortable during a lot of the the scenes that we see her and she looks like she doesn't want to be here she seems disconnected to the narrative really that's unfolding uh she just wasn't very convincing as a final girl to care about so hopefully with chase and lane it's very different hopefully they're more reminiscent of 
Trisha and Derry that, that we had in the original film and they have some quality relationship for us to grow invested in and want to see them alive on the other side of this hopefully it's just more compelling more emotional more well performed honestly because i feel that chester rush chester rushing i feel like his acting was far better than what he had to work with with his on-screen partner gabrielle hall who's playing addison i just feel like between the two there was no believable chemistry nothing that could make me care about addison or her relation to kenny brandon meg foster giving it her all you know you had uh the other guy from harlem knights giving his all stan spree i believe is what his name is so it's just like the whole movie with the acting in jeepers creepers 3 just took you out of the whole experience so i hope with jeepers creepers 4 we can find ourselves back into the world of the creeper with a bunch of compelling characters not to say that the acting in the second film is anything to ride home about but it was nowhere near as cringe or as bad as what we got in jeepers creepers 3 so hopefully with jeepers creepers 4 we can get subpar to solid acting out of the actors and actresses all involved respectively to give us a decent follow-up to a movie that we've been waiting to see a continuation for since the film released back in 2003 that of course being jeepers creepers 2 how chase and lane end up in a position to have chase execute that wedding that's the question mark or execute that proposal rather that's the question mark i'm going to assume this will happen after they are at the horror hound festival lane's character talking about how reluctant she was to come to the festival she'll end up having fun we see that they have a very healthy relationship we spend enough time with them to grow attached to them and want to see their relationship blossom and we of course know that they're going to have a stumbling block when the creeper gets involved and creates a hurdle for them so hopefully this will come after they're having fun at the festival she starts to open it up to it and then he'll go for the proposal and then the creeper will take her and then we as the fans and the audience watching will be compelled to see this man get his girlfriend soon to be wife back i just hope that's how it unfolds and not something that's cartoony but let me know what you guys think about this bit of information down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video